Hello everyone, this is the Not So Sad Panda here, saying hello. Welcome to, or welcome back to, <laughs> Minecraft Vaults. So, the first thing we're going to do today, because I haven't done anything since then, this is the other day, or actually longer than that, um, but, yeah, sorry, like I was saying, what we're going to do today is... We are going to make a farm. That's the first thing I need to do. Because... Is that a spade? Or is that a shovel? Stone hoe. Stone hoe. Alright, so... um, Yeah, that's what I need to do today. I need to find... Cows, one. Two... Or I need to do grass... Start just a little one right here, or over here is greener. You know, grass is always greener on the other side. I just need to get a, a little bit of seed going. Um, not sure how much I'm gonna want or need. <laughs> and then I have to try to hunt down cows and get them back here. I forget if it's this world or my ticket world that has a lot of cows in the immediate vicinity. But looks like I'm going to have to travel to get seeds. So let's start going. Oh, maybe not. So, how has your guys' week been? Mine's been hot. Uh, started doing pools and all that, and it's hot outside. Uh, for instance, today with humidity, I think it, around 130 was the hottest it had been all day, and it got up to 98. And of course, there was not a lick of wind. There was supposed to be torrential downpour, but I didn't see any rain. And, yeah, no shade. <laughs> so, yeah, it was hot. Also, in other news, I think I might start my farm over this way, actually. Or maybe on that little island. Build it out a little bit. Have a nice little wheat farm going. Because I think... Wheat actually, our water will, uh, I'm gonna say salivate, salivate, a good word, salivate's like spit, we're gonna say salivate, salivate the soil for, I think, three, two, three blocks, cow, okay, is there more than one cow? I don't know. But I really hope there is. I need more wheat than this. I mean, seriously, if I hold the grass, will it give me more? Oh, cows. It is this place. Okay. Well, it's not exactly immediate, but it's near where I spawned in. And it's getting nighttime, and it's going to get dangerous. But I do have torches. So, haha. -ha. Uh, let's get 12. It'll make me feel better. Okay, 12. Also, in other news, I tried to get a mine, a mine con ticket. I tried so hard. My grandpa tried even harder than I did, I'm pretty sure. He was, he was a little uh, mad and pissed off. He even called him to see if, you know, maybe he could still get a ticket even though they were sold out. Or whatever, because I was actually at work on the second batch. So, obviously, I was not able to get them as I was out at the job. So, there was no possible way I could have bought the tickets myself. But, yeah. Um, I didn't know about the first batch until I actually heard someone talk about it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Minecon. I wonder when that is or when the tickets go on sale. And they were on sale the day prior to me 
hearing about it. So I missed first wave completely. And we're gonna we're gonna test how far this will. Cause I'm pretty sure it's three. It could be four. Let's mm, I mean this is an island, it is surrounded, so let's let's do that and this'll pluck up and become normal dirt if it can't be saturated. Oh, and there's already monsters out. Oh crap, did I No. I didn't. Oh wait, did I? No, I never did put a waypoint. Pretty sure it's over there. Well, I know for a fact it's in the mountains, but... Ah! Uh, skeletons. Oh, I see a creeper. We want to stay away from the creeper. Creeper, no go boom boom. No boom boom for the creeper. But yeah. Uh, and then I was on... Actually... Oh, I don't have any armor. Oh, go away. Go away, creeper. Uh, I was actually on two different computers on the final day of sales at 3 o'clock or whatever, or 3 o'clock my time, uh, on Saturday, and it just didn't happen. It, I, st uh, I still didn't get it. And I just want one ticket. It wasn't like I was one of those people, you know, I'm not getting like six tickets or anything like that. And, you know, it was relatively close and I'm actually very familiar or fairly familiar with the area it's in. I normally visit uh, Universal Studios at somewhere between six and eight times a year. Uh, so, very familiar with that area. Um, but yeah, it just... It didn't happen. So, that's a bummer. Um, but yeah. I won't be going to that. And... Nor am I going to pay someone extra for tickets, although I'm pretty sure those are non-transferable tickets, or at least that's what they say on the website. So... Oh no, there's a hole there. I could have sworn I covered up these holes. Maybe I didn't. Alright, well we're going to go mine a little bit till it's daylight, because I do need to start this farm ASAP, because I need food, one. And two, like I said before, in volts, I do need a lot of leather, if I remember correctly. So, that's something I need to get working on, like I said, once again, ASAP. In other news, <laughs> a neighbor actually started construction again. I guess someone bought the house. Well, I had figured someone had bought the house, but they had done work, and then... I didn't see them for like two months, but you know, now they have people working again. And whatever. I don't think that house is, uh, stayed, like had people stay in there for longer than two years since the cat killer lived there. Uh, <laughs> just to catch you all up, uh, that house has bad, like, karma, energy, I don't, you know, whatever you may believe in, bad luck, you know, whatever. Um, we moved in to this house, I think, how old was I? 11 years ago. Uh, because my brother had just turned three, or had, or was about to turn four or something, I don't remember. Um, we closed on the house. Yeah, he was about to turn four, uh, because we closed on the house in July, right after Christmas. Um, and we lived here. In the first year, I got my leg bit by a dog that lived next door. And I'm not talking like, you know, a little dog. I got bit by a um, Rottweiler. And yeah, that hurt. Uh, my leg was particularly nasty and ugly looking. Uh, a few days after, uh, purple, blue, yellow even, and I remember the, uh, medicine they gave me for that really 
was actually too strong, but since I refused to take the pill form of the medicine, because I didn't know really how to swallow pills, uh, and I just don't, I don't, like, I don't like taking medicine or pills in general, but that's another story entirely. But the medicine was too strong for me, and I remember I was sick with um, multiple different things at that time. Uh, you know, I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, my stool was not solid. Uh, fever, cold, that rainbow, even aches and body pains. I mean, and I was, how old was I? If my brother was four, that would make I have I would have to have been fourteen, maybe thirteen. Uh, was that gunshots? Did you, Did you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? Um. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but yeah, that I'm not sure what that was. Fireworks, I'm hoping. Um, and then after that, they eventually moved out, but I, uh, um, that dog had previously bit another kid in the neighborhood in the back of the neck before. So that dog, yeah, was not you know, friendly, I guess. But at the same time, you know... I do realize that the dog, you know, was not a, you know, let's take it to the dog park kind of dog. This dog was there for protection. But, you know, I, I was on their doorstep. I wasn't, like, even in the house. So, yeah. And then after that, I forget, their, people's names aren't important in this story. Uh... <laughs> There were some other neighbors that constantly fought uh, with the neighbors beside them. So, if you're standing in front of my house, I'm talking about the house to my left. And the house to their left, those, the two males, the two fathers or whatever, were constantly fighting. And their two oldest sons were constantly fighting as well. To the point where, actually, the house to their left... They got kicked out because they had had multiple confrontations with multiple neighbors uh, while they were here. But they had lived here a while. Um, now the house next to us, they had eventually moved out or whatever, but they didn't, you know, they didn't get kicked out like the house beside them. Um, and then after that, there was the cat killer. Now I'm not certain this lady killed my mother's cats. However, it's strong enough evidence for me to accuse them. Um, she didn't like cats, always threatened our cats, and within the first year of her being here, three of our cats died. Or three of my mother's cats had died, which, you know, my mom is a big animal person, and, you know, definitely a big cat person. I think the only animal she probably wouldn't keep would it be a bird? She doesn't like birds. She's scared of them. I don't know why. Um, and then... <laughs> the people after that... Uh, were real partiers or whatever. Which, you know, wasn't a big deal. Or whatever. Um, a change. You know nice friendly party or drunks whatever from you know the people that have been in there before or whatever but not really because the wife was quote was when they moved in she was quote unquote recovering but she worked at a nurse's station and she was popping pills and she ended up now, if you don't want to hear this next part, close your ear for the next three seconds. She ended up hanging herself in the garage. So, yeah. Although, there was nothing wrong with the family after that, though. There was nothing wrong with them. But, um, the cat killer still owns the house currently, actually. She was only renting it out. So, that's a thing. Oh, it's daytime. I need to go back out. Let me get the rest of this coal. So, yeah, that's the story of the house next to me. Uh, so, 
it's one of those things where I'm kind of like, what else could possibly happen next? I really don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not sure if they know, like, the history of the house. My own personal history, or knowing what I know about the house, is one thing. But you know, it's one of those things, like, I'm not sure how I would feel if I knew that someone had uh, died in the house. You know, I guess if I didn't know any better, it wouldn't bother me. But, you know, if I did know, it might kind of deal. Uh, I need to make myself a little stepping ladder here. And I need food. I hope there's some in the chest. There's probably not, but that's why I need a farm. So, yes. Hope you enjoyed our story time today. Um, I really need to get this farm going. Because I don't want to starve to death. I need a house. Oh, uh, no, go away, Skellington. It's daytime. You should be hiding. Do you guys? Slime. I saw one outside, but I didn't hear it. Or, let's go ahead and. Is it right here? Yeah. Add a waypoint. Add. This is all green around here, so. Uh, yeah, blue. Let's go ahead and just call it home for now. So we can, I I can find my way back. Uh, and I believe c the cows were over there. Um, and so was the island. So I'm gonna head over there. I may move the island. And this I'm gonna build a temporary house. I'm not sure where yet, but this is like where I want to set up my main house, because I do know there are camouflage which act exactly like windows you can see out perfectly fine and normal however when you use the camouflage it will camouflage to the color or the type of block that you choose it to be so it could look exactly like that wall face but in all reality it could you know be a giant base in there which is my plan to have the base inside the mountain so, um, this looks like it's working, except for this one. What, what's up with this one? You're like, right, right here. You're, you're right here. What's wrong with you? <sighs> See, Livy, whatever. Oh, how are you in, how are you a normal block? How? We're gonna break this block? Because <laughs> I have no idea how that is not saturated we're gonna just skip you <laughs> just so that way I have good crops going okay and this there we go jump 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 all right I'll come back and plant more maybe off camera probably not uh, but I do need to find <laughs> food in the meantime though uh, What's going to be my best chance for food? Well, cows, obviously, but I don't want to deplete the cows. I don't want to end up, you know, killing them off. Oh, let me go. I feel like I'm going to backtrack a lot in this in the next few minutes. Uh, let me see if there's food in there. If not, I'm going to have to cut trees down for apples, I guess. I actually have to go kill the cow. Hmm. Well, there's mushrooms there. Don't you need... No, no, let's check. Um, mushroom stew. Yeah, you need both a red cap mushroom and a brown cap mushroom. So, mushroom stew is off the table. You can't actually eat pumpkins, nor can you eat sheep. Oh, let's dump all that in there. Uh, zombie flesh is gonna have to do till I can find something more suitable. Let's see if we can find like a duck. Oh, chicken or duck. You know what I meant. Die. 
die, cluckers. Haha. -ha. Alright, so I have actual food. And yay, so farm's running. It's going, start to grow. Uh, got some food. That's good. Um, did a little mining, which is also good. Uh, um, 32. Okay. Sort that chicken. Chicken. Chicka chicka. Chicka. Well, that's going. I need to make myself. Can I make a silver sword? Or tin? It's S I L. Hmm, no. Can't make. Ooh. Ooh, are these things that have silver in it? Oh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Ooh. What's that? Okay. Silverfish? I don't want to make silverfish. Uh, how about tin? Can I make a tin sword? Yeah, I can make tin equipment, actually. Oh, platinum. I looked up tin. Is that because... Platinum takes tin? Hmm. Oh, it has tin in the spelling of platinum. Oh... Huh. How about steel? Because I know we can make steel stuff. What do I need for steel? Iron, steel, steel ingot. Okay. Uh huh. Steel dust, which is iron and charcoal. Okay, well, that's a little. That's just a tad out of reach. I don't have nearly enough charcoal. But I do have iron. Let's start making iron stuff. Oh, chicken's done. And I do have charcoal now. I do have a nice amount. Let's go ahead and th we'll throw in five. Not that I really care. Um, and I definitely need a bed. So... That is also on the list right now. That was just added to the list. I was going to end it, but no. Now we're not. You're being dragged along with me. We're going to go get some sheep. I do have wood in here for bed afterwards. Yes. One, two, three. Okay. Now. Sheep. Meh. Come on, let me talk to you. It's, uh... Okay, thank you. Really? One. Psh. Cheapo. Oh, there's more over there. That's okay. Oh, wow. Really? He gave me three. Wow. You were seriously a penny pincher, dude. That was rude. So, he gave me a few, too. He gave me three. Or two. It's just that other guy. I mean, he. Or one. Did it? I don't. It looked a lot more. I don't know. Because he gave me one. He gave me three. The black sheep. Yeah, okay. I was counting the black sheep in there. Okay, so yeah, he gave me two. Alright. Now, it's almost sunset, so I can set my spawn. Get the bed going. Oh. Hmm. Okay, and there's room right here for bed. Let's just put a torch. Uh, and it's night right now. Let's go ahead and take the iron out. Iron's still cooking a little bit. However, I don't. You can have one. That's all you can have. Because it doesn't look like you're going to use all that. And I really don't want to have to use more charcoal than I have to at this point. Because we're just starting off. Okay. Even though I just said I don't care. Obviously, I do. Um. Hmm. I do not. I'm not going to worry with the door. I am going to do this. Ta da! Shoo! Shoo! Ah, shoo! Okay. 
Sleeping time's done. Ah, oh, good morning. The sun is shining. We're getting out of here. And the tank is clean. <gasps> the tank is clean. Alright, that's it. Bed, spawn point, farm's going, whatever, whatever. We're good. I'm fed, whatever. Alright, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I will catch you guys next time. This has been the Not So Sad Panda. Sign off, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you all later. Bye bye.